Well, what is our project today? This is a banner and it's got to be installed. But you know what? You see anything that should be on these banners? Yes, grommets. You see way down there in the corner? I just put that one grommet in and I'm going to show you how it's done. If you want to learn how to install grommets, you know, on banners or plastic tarps or something, stick around. Now see, here's the grommets and they come like this. There's a ring on there. That's the bottom part and that's the top part. And you've got to poke a hole in the plastic, right? And that's what that is. It's got a little hole on the back side of it. You see, this is a cutter tool right here and I, I need to have wood and I'll show you that in a second. And then we've got these two little pieces of tool, all right? And it cracked me up. Somebody else was supposed to do this and I'm here with my friend Anna. Hello, Anna. Hi. She's a little bashful today and <laughs> you know what? She hasn't done her makeup or her hair and she said, absolutely not. I am not going to be on camera. Is that what she told me? Sorry, Jack. I did. <laughs> and she had some co-workers who were trying to figure out how to install these grommets and and there's supposed to be 24 grommets here well there's 24 of the bottoms and on the tops there's only 20 because they screwed up four of them already <laughs> didn't they Anna? They did. Because we counted these and there's only 20 left so I've got directions instructions on how many grommet holes they want over here and I think I'm gonna have Anna she's gonna run the camera here in a minute and I'll show you what I'm gonna do okay so my first directions were that I'm gonna put holes at the ends okay and then they wanted it an inch or every foot so I'm just gonna make a happy medium I'm probably gonna go in between that what do you think Anna about there perfect okay I'm going to do that, and then I was told to do this every 12 inches, and it's not going to be exactly 12 inches. It just depends how big your your awning, your um, your banner is, and 12 inches seems like pretty darn close. And but that's the directions I were given. I would have done them 16, 18 inches or so, but you know it depends how thick your banner is. If you put the holes, the grommet holes, too far apart, because this is going to be installed on a fence, let's say, if you put them too far, then you'll get little wrinkles in between them and all that. Kind of depends how many grommets you have and all that kind of stuff. But I was told one foot, right? You said you would do it every 16 inches? No. Well, I, I, pro I probably would. Why don't you? No. They told me, or you told me a foot, right? That's what they said, but they don't okay. know as much as you do. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm going to do it. See, that's the other thing. I'm usually my own boss, but when somebody tells me to do something, and I had specific directions, instructions to make this every foot. Okay, so I just held the tape measure out, and there's marks on the tape measure for every foot here. And I kind of split the difference because eight feet is out here further, so these last two, this end one is less than a foot. You know, but that's all right. Okay. Now, what I could do is, you don't have to be so precise. I could eyeball that in between this right here, but um, I can just take my tape measure and measure each one of these. The center of an inch and a half would be three quarters of an inch, and that's where I'm going to put that little tool. Okay, so I'm going to continue that here. And I'm going to do that on both sides of the banner. Now you can, like I say, you can decide all that on your own, but that's your first step, marking your banner, and then we'll use the tools.